Protect the bus bar splice by using premium electrical tapes. To do this, 3M recommends that you use Scotch Brand Varnish Cambric Tape 2510, Scotch Rubber Mastic Tape 2228, and Scotch Professional Grade Premium Vinyl Electrical Tape Super 33 Plus. Once you have bolted the bus bars together, you can fill in around bolts and sharp areas with an electrical putty such as 3M brand Scotch Fill Electrical Insulation Putty. This step is not required to meet ANSI requirements, however, and is not shown in this demonstration. Turn Scotch brand varnish cambric tape 2510 adhesive side out. Position it two inches past the edge of the bus bar junction and begin wrapping toward the bolts. The varnish cambric tape provides important puncture protection. Applying it adhesive side out allows quick and easy re-entry to the connection if needed. Let the edge of the tape overlap the edge of the previous wrap of tape. We call this method half-lapping the tape. Wrap diagonally to ensure you have covered the bolts effectively. Once you've covered the splice and the ends of the cable jacketing or bus bar insulation, cut the tape with a sharp blade. Next, you will cover the splice with Scotch Brand Rubber Mastic Tape 2228 to provide electrical insulation and a good moisture seal. Start wrapping mastic tape to one side of the bus bar junction. Pull the rubber tape so that it stretches slightly. The tape should be stretched to one-third its original width, almost to the point of breaking. Hold the roll of tape tightly between your fingers and pass it carefully hand to hand so that the tape is applied with moderate tension. When applied correctly, the tape layers fuse together. Wrap so that the tape covers half the width of the previous layer, half lapping as you did with the varnished cambric. Continue wrapping back and forth as required by the voltage level noted in the instructions. For 600 volts, wrap one half lap layer. For 5 to 8 kV, it should be two layers. For 15 kV, it should be three layers for straight bar and four layers for bolted. For 25 kV, it should be five layers for straight bar and six layers for bolted. For 35 kV, it should be seven layers for straight bar and eight for bolted. These instructions will vary if you use Scotch Brand Linerless Rubber Splicing Tape 130C. Again, be sure to check the instructions for details. Wrap the rubber tape at least an inch over the cable jacketing or bus bar insulation. It is especially important to overwrap the insulating tape with premium vinyl electrical tape when the connection is in an exposed area. Start taping with Scotch Brand Premium Vinyl Electrical Tape Super 33 Plus. Pull the tape rolls so that the vinyl tape stretches and goes on with tension, squeezing the rubber tape below. Half lap the tape. The tape should extend at least an inch over the cable jacketing or bus bar insulation. Once you have applied a minimum of two half lap layers, let the tension out of the tape in your hand and cut it with a sharp blade thumb down. Wrap the remaining end without stretching it. When applied correctly, these layers of tape will help protect the splice. But if you need to remove the splice, just slice through the tape layers with a sharp blade. They should peel off easily since the layers will adhere to each other and not to the splice.